Now, in this video, I'll be showing you the pseudocode for insertion sort algorithm. Now, in a previous video, I have already demonstrated how the insertion sort algorithm works. So let, let's let's have a quick look and, and see how the pseudocode goes. For this pseudocode, I will be using a function. So I'll start off by creating my function. I'll call my function. So I'll create my function and I'll call this um, insert sort. And this sort, um, function will take in an argument s list, which is the list I want to sort. Now with this, the next thing I want to do is to find the length of my list. So I'm going to call, so I'll find the length of my list and the length of this list to do that I'll just say len which is the length s list. Now what I want to do next is I want to um, use a counter and go from index position 1. Now remember with, the, with insertion sort we work on the premise that the first item in the list is sorted. So there is no need to, to cater for that item because it's already sorted. So I'm going to say here I'll use iteration using a for loop by saying that for i my counter variable for i1 to the array, the length of my array, so array length um, minus 1, okay, I'm doing this because we don't want to go beyond the um, boundaries of our S list. Get the value in so get the second value in s list the second value in our list you remember i is index position one and index of position one holds that second value in our list then we're going to create a pointer and assign i to that pointer so our loop will carry on we're going to say here that while this pointer we've just created there. Now while this pointer is greater than zero and our S list our S list this pointer minus one so one minus one is greater than the value okay remember value is so we're just comparing the, the the value before the value in index position one remember this is holding the value in index position one and this will now be value in index position zero so saying that while pointer is greater than zero and s list pointer minus one is greater than that value do so technically saying here, um, go to S list, go to S list pointer, go to S list pointer, and in S list pointer, I want you to put in there S list pointer minus one. Okay, go in there, put in S list pointer minus one no need to panic here we're not we're not overwriting that value technically remember we have that value stored held in value okay so we have that value there held in value so we will then go on and make our pointer to be pointer minus one so pointer becomes pointer minus one. And then we'll go back again. So this 
will carry on until we have checked all the values in that list. Okay. We'll end while and our while loop. And then once we've done this, after that pass, we will then set the value in S list to pointer. We we'll set the value in S list to pointer. Sorry, the value in index position pointer to the value. Okay, we'll set it, assign value to it, and then we can carry on. And at this point, this will carry on until all the items have been picked up from the unsorted part of our list to the sorted part of our list and all items are sorted and when you're done and um, because it's a function we can return s list so that's it that's the pseudocode for um, insertion sort algorithm I, I think some students may find it valuable if i'm able to demonstrate this in, a, in as an example so let's just imagine here that um, S list. So let's imagine for, for a second that in S list we have the values 7, 4, 2, and 1. Now don't forget that this will then have index positions 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now to apply our algorithm here on this what you would find is um, I'm going to write loads of gibberish but I'll be explaining it as I go on so do do pay attention if I say so we know because I'm tracing I'm going to trace this algorithm here um, array length we know will be the length of our s list and the length of s list is 4 so array length is 4 now here we're saying for I want to, so technically speaking, we're saying let I go from the range 1 to array length, which is 4 minus 1. Okay, so 4 minus 1 gives us 3. You can see why that's important, because 3 is the, maxim, is the um, index value of the last item in our list. So we're going from I one two three then we're saying value becomes we're saying there that value becomes s list i don't forget that i initial value of i will be one so s list i will be in the, the value in index position one which is currently four so that's our value we go on to set pointer, we go on to set pointer as i, and i we know is still 1. So, looking at the algorithm, we're saying that while pointer is greater than 0, which is true, and s list pointer minus 1, now pointer minus 1 is 1 minus 1, which is 0, so we're saying there, and 7, so the value in S list pointer minus pointer, so the value in S list zero, sorry, pointer minus one, which is zero, is greater than value. So seven, of course, seven is greater than value, and our value is four. Whilst that is the case, go to S list pointer. Now I'm just going to repeat S list down here. So if I rewrite S list here, if I rewrite S list currently, it looks like this. So we have 7, 4, 2, 1. So all we're technically saying here is go to S list pointer 1. Take the value in S list pointer, which is 1, minus 1, 0. So go take there. Assign that value there. So technically speaking, the system will put 7 there so four will no longer exist so in our list we would have seven seven two one 
within the system that's not displayed to the user then what would happen next is pointer which is currently one will then be so the new value for pointer pointer will then be one minus one which is zero so is zero still greater than zero of course zero is no longer greater than zero yes and the value in because that's not the case what we then do is we then come out of our while loop go to s list pointer and s list pointer will then be zero so go to this position there and put the value we have in value and that becomes four so the new structure of s list will then be four comma seven comma two comma one okay then we go back to our for loop and in our for loop i will then become two so if i becomes two it means that we're then looking at this value there and then you repeat the process i i hope this has been helpful in explaining to you um, how the insertion sort algorithm works. Goodbye.